Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we dive into the 2024 Tesla Semi updates. The highly anticipated release of Tesla's cutting edge cyber truck has temporarily overshadowed the company's semi truck, which is intended for commercial use. Nevertheless, Elon Musk is organizing grand plans for 2024 to hasten the market debut of this innovative commercial truck. And Tesla hasn't stopped thinking about the Semi and is steadfast in its commitment to ramping up this big rig. However, a product like the Tesla Semi was made primarily with business use in mind. Could be difficult to excite retail investors since they might not feel the benefits immediately. Nevertheless, because it has a big impact on the fossil fuel industry and has the potential to significantly affect crude oil prices, the Tesla Semi is an essential component of Tesla's mission and master plan. Over one year has passed since Elon Musk announced in the fourth quarter of 2022 that Tesla would begin producing semi-trucks, with the first deliveries going to PepsiCo on December 1, 2022, nearly the same day that Cybertruck production began. A year later, however, we have learned that Cybertruck production appears to be moving along fairly well for such a new product, even though it will still take 12 to 18 months to achieve much higher volume. The Tesla Semi, on the other hand, hasn't seen this explosive growth in output, even though it officially came out almost exactly a year earlier, though we're already seeing dozens of them in Tesla's lots. Now let's talk about the Tesla Semi production line and what Tesla had hoped to achieve. Tesla's semi-production line near the Nevada Gigafactory is producing semis in low volume, despite being mainly handmade. Also, Tesla's fleet of semi-trucks is over 100, higher than the original 36 trucks that were reported to have gone to Pepsi. This number includes Tesla's own trucks built for their operations. Also, we have to mention Tesla's initial battery plans. Tesla's initial plan was to replace diesel trucks used to transport batteries from Giga Nevada to Fremont, which is currently being done, potentially cutting down fuel costs and minimizing expenses for internal operations. Originally, they planned to power the semi with their own batteries, the ones made in Giga Nevada and headed for Fremont, the same battery used in the Model S, 3X, and Y models. This would give the vehicle enough range to get to Fremont. This is still an intriguing idea, similar to the range extender on a Cybertruck, except that in this case, the batteries going to Fremont would basically be transporting themselves, or at least providing the energy for their own transportation. However, Tesla has since given Semi its own battery pack thanks to Tesla's efficiency and design. Now, I bet you're wondering why the Tesla Semi truck is being delayed. The semi-truck has been delayed because it faces a similar obstacle to the Cybertruck. The release of the Cybertruck was delayed by two more years since Giga Texas needed to be finished. There was nowhere else to construct the truck except at the facility that was required. Furthermore, Giga Texas has its own facility for producing 46 AT battery cells. Also, Tesla's semi-facility near Giga Nevada is insufficient for mass market manufacturing, as it cannot produce tens of thousands of trucks and is not suitable for transporting battery cells from other projects, necessitating a dedicated battery line for the semi. There's still a few more reasons why the Tesla semi truck is being delayed. Giga Nevada's $3.6 billion plans to build a full blown semi truck facility and 4,680 battery cell units to supplement the semis were first announced by Tesla back in January 2023. Despite Elon Musk's announcement a year earlier that high-volume, low-volume production of semis would begin, high-volume production cannot and will not occur until these new facilities at Giga Nevada are completed. Again, this is crucial to ensure that the Semi doesn't divert resources from the Cybertruck or Tesla's other models, but there are a lot of advantages to developing the Semi facility now. Although it's officially late, Tesla turns the impossible into just late. Many tech companies have discovered that the Cybertruck will also be housed in the Semi facility, and if Tesla neglected to include them when they unveiled the Semi, 
they can now add it to the new factory design that is currently under construction. For example, Tesla has managed to put a lot of time into modernizing and expanding all of its 4680 battery lines to produce cyber cells with 10% greater energy density. Thus, the semi-4680 battery plant will come with new and improved features, which will be beneficial to the Tesla Semi. We also have to look at the steer-by-wire system. Tesla holds a patent for a steer-by-wire system that is currently used in the Cybertruck and may soon be used in the Semi. When steering-by-wire is used, the steering wheel doesn't need to spin repeatedly at low speed to make a sharp turn, but it also makes steering a software function rather than a mechanical one, enabling Tesla to add new features or make changes in the future through over-the-air updates. Now let's briefly discuss the new projects Tesla is working on. Tesla has been working on several projects for nearly a decade. In the past, the company struggled to establish a single manufacturing facility for the Model 3 due to the massive effort required by Elon Musk. However, in recent years, Tesla has been able to scale multiple projects simultaneously, including Giga Texas's Model 3 and Giga Berlin's Model 3. These projects include the Cybertruck and, most importantly, the Tesla Semi-Truck. Also, Elon Musk stated, We'll be in production with Cybertruck next year, we'll be in production with the Roadster, and with Semi. Even so, not all of them were available on retail shelves in 2023. Tesla is strategically launching multi-billion dollar projects. With the Semi-Truck being next in line for massive scaling in 2024, the company is expanding rapidly, and the Cybertruck's technology is expected to influence innovation and performance in the Semi. The decision to prioritize the Cybertruck scaling capability ahead of the semi is a questionable one, but might not be a bad thing. What do you think? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video.